The welding program at Columbus State started in 2007, and then in 2013, uh, we started offering a associate's degree in welding. So we went from having 10 welding classes to 20, and since then, uh, our program has been expanding and growing in terms of uh, students, but also uh, its reach within the community for uh, welding training. Our organization has a tremendous need for welding. We're always striving to eliminate the, the outsourcing and, and bring the talent in-house and to train our employees so that we don't have to worry about finding a contractor or outsourcing that, that type of work. There's an estimated 225,000 welders needed by the end of 2025. With a person entering in our program with no welding experience, five welding courses, they become employable. Annually, we need 33,000 welders to be trained uh, just to replace the number of retirees and the estimated job growth that we currently have. That is just solely for the welding title. What we're now faced with is how do we train welders faster and achieve that same level of quality. And that has been one of our major focuses here at the college. I am pleased at, at what we've seen from just the intro to stick class. We had a self-taught welder that we hired recently uh, and he was very proficient at welding and he was one of our first candidates to be sent to Columbus State for their welding program. Uh, and it was nice to be able to see some of the adjustments and, and some of the basics that he was able to learn. The way we train our welders is unique in terms of the technological advancements of our equipment that enable our students to learn faster. Uh, Lincoln Electric made a C300. And the machine has the ability to give a quantitative score to a weld. What it was not doing was giving me any opportunity to uh, help a student know why their weld was the score that they received. So what uh, then has come about is these uh, trainers that we now have available to us. They're called real weld trainers that capture five points of data. They're getting a quantitative score based off of a digital graph that helps the instructor focus their conversation on those low scores. The student sees it, they're able then to start to explain what that specific deficiency is. The instructor can focus their time uh, with those struggling students just by seeing the output of the machine as opposed to giving that person time and time to practice incorrectly. It makes us more intentional uh, in our direct instruction with students. But we're also using it to help employers get a more consistent employee. So we are reaching out to employers that have loaned us their best welder and we allow the welder to come into our facility and just weld on our equipment. And we're tracking all of their movements. We're just recording what that welder is doing. We're also training the welder to weld just like that person that comes in. What we don't have to convince a company of is who is their best employee in terms of the welds and quality. So what we're trying to help these employers see is that by partnering with our program, we can ensure that the product that they're accustomed to seeing exit their door, we can help preserve based off of the, the new technology that we have. To be able to send somebody to a, a program where we know they're going to come out with a quality, um, quality experience, quality hands-on training is, is priceless.